uh, a hero in that shopping mall shooting, and the woman he saved from the gunfire, Jocelyn Lay and Alan Fonseca. Join us now in an ABC News exclusive. Thank you both for being with us this morning. And Jocelyn, I know you were at the counter and you were talking to Alan when you heard those gunshots. Tell me what happened next. Uh, we both just looked at each other and knew that this was a serious situation and it was a gunman and we both just dove down um, underneath the Lancome counter there for a little protection and um, the gunfire just kept going off and Alan turned to me and well first I was praying I just called out to the Lord to ask him to protect us and to protect those people that were out in the mall getting shot. And then Alan is my hero because he knew what to do. He said that we needed to evacuate and he took me by the hand and he led me down through the counters and down the escalator and out to safety. And this is what is amazing to me. He's my hero because he then turned to me, now that I know you're safe, I'm gonna go back and help other people. I was very impressed with him, being a young man and having such courage. Yeah, Ellen, that is incredible. You were safe, you got Jocelyn to safety, and yet you still felt like your job wasn't finished. Tell me what you did next. I'm sorry, I couldn't catch that. Can you repeat that, please? Ellen, tell me what it was like when you went back upstairs. Why did you decide to go back and try to help others? You know, I've been asking that question to myself all night, and I really don't know the answer. All I know is that I knew the exits to the doors and I felt that if I knew how to get out of the mall and out to safety then I should probably share that knowledge to everybody else that didn't know, like the shoppers who don't come here usually and don't know all the exits. So I decided to go back up because I wanted to check to see if there was anybody in panic or didn't know where to go. So that's why I went back and I did it because I really wanted to save and help as many people as I could. What a remarkable young man. And we just saw your reunion there this morning because you all just met again this morning after such an incredible night. And Jocelyn, what would have happened? What would you have done if Alan hadn't been there? Um, I probably just would have stayed there and probably had a little more fear because it's one of those situations where you've seen on previous um, shootings that you know gunmen keep shooting and keep looking for different people and I would have just prayed harder and it was my grandbaby's first birthday yesterday and so of course you know I want to be around and so I just would have huddled there and waited um, and just hoped and prayed. Well, Alan got you to safety, and, and Alan, we want to thank you, and I know Jocelyn has this morning for your act of heroism. Jocelyn and Alan, so glad you're both safe, and uh, wish your granddaughter a happy birthday, Jocelyn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, that young man is a real hero. Thank I mean, just you. to have made, safe, made it to safety and then gone back up, that's remarkable. Just incredible.